my case, I would feel much more the us if I gave up my American passport, or in someone else's case, you know, if they moved back to their country of birth. But there are people who will never be able to belong to the us, um, maybe because of the color of their skin or something like an accent that you can't get rid of. And I think that's something um, that I struggle with is knowing that I could do something about my situation and I don't necessarily, but acknowledging you know, the autonomy that I have and the privilege that I have in a conversation with someone who will never know what that's like to have that choice and to still try to relate and have the same experience when it's very clear that it's not. It's almost like we want to create a, a we because we are missing the we between the us and the them. And I, I think that we have the concept of that we try to distinguish from the other how they are different. And that's a lot has to do with the, how we think as human beings often as the egoic self, to say it like this, because we try to find differences immediately probably when we see someone else. But it becomes, I think, um, limiting when we are instead of embracing diversity and having a real interest in the other as something someone that is enriching us in our community and how we perceive life as someone who's dangerous and i think sometimes the discourse is more like of a danger something to be careful of or about other than opening to to the human being that is in front of us. In my experience working in um, the area of museums, I think it's a really um, fundamental part of what history museums do is define somebody who is us and silence other histories that whoever is in charge of creating exhibits decides doesn't belong to the us history. So I think it's really important for museums, not only in Germany, but also in Germany, to rethink us and think about telling histories of specific places as the histories of people who actually experience those places and have shaped those places, and not only people who are, you know, <laughs> have German citizenship or people who have been in Germany for their whole lives, but everybody who's helped or, or harmed the shaping of, of a place. I'm wondering if history is also sometimes used as a way to exclude people from, from the us or to prevent the formation of a new we. And, and I feel a lot of times the, the discourse around who belongs or the discourse around identity is one that's uh, had in, been had in, in historical terms. So how long someone has lived somewhere or what Sort of uh, historical origins you share, or how long a certain tradition um, has been in place and you've followed it. So perhaps the whole uh, thinking and discourse around belonging together and creating a we and an identity is a little too, is looking backwards too much rather than forwards, rather than um, not so much where we come from, but where we want to go to might be a way to think about a a we or a new way of belonging? I think there is a certain shift that I hope will progress, will, will develop. Uh, and so it's, uh, and I think a couple of years ago they created an, a new memorial in the Reichstag itself, in the German parliament. So it says on the, on the entrance, it says dem deutschen Volke, so to the German people, but this is a very traditional definition. But I think then they created a new one, which was highly controversial, in a certain way, and it's, I think, in one of the courts in the parliament, and it says, der Bevölkerung. So this means, it only says, to the people who live here. And so that's hopefully where we go.